Hey guys and gals, welcome back to Old Car Auto Guy. My name is Jason and yes, I'm dressed for Christmas because, well, this video is going live on Christmas Day. Today, we're doing an unboxing of my new lowering kit for Project Dale, so stay tuned. So before we go too far, we've got five boxes all together. One, two, three, four, five. And inside these boxes is what's gonna give us a six inch drop in the rear and a four inch drop in the front on my 1977 Chevrolet C10. It's a two wheel drive and a long box. A lot of guys are going for the short boxes or they're making their long box into a short box. We're not doing that on this budget build and we will go over the pricing on this at the end of the video. But before we do that, let's dive in and show you exactly what we've got. So we're gonna start with the big long white box here and this is what's required in the rear. So we've already got it opened up and we have our instructions. This is gonna come in handy. I'm pretty familiar with how this kit works but we are gonna follow the instructions so do not throw these away. This is a Belltech kit, and the number on that kit is a 6850. If you're not familiar and you want to buy just the kit by itself for the rear, you can do that. I bought mine in its entirety, so it's front and rear, and uh, we'll go over everything that comes with, but this is just the flip kit for the rear. So first thing that we got is all the hardware. We got your new bump stops and all the bolts, nuts, washers, lock washers, everything we're gonna need to put this thing together. We've got your brackets for your U-bolts that hold on to the axle. There's two of those. And of course, we've got the new U-bolts. And we've got our axle kit, our axle holders. And last but not least, we have our C-notch kit. So that is some pretty thick steel. It's all welded, it's hardened, it's painted, and all the bolts are there ready to roll. So we're going to have six bolts in from the side, two from the bottom. And if you're not familiar with where these are going, let me show you. So as I've probably mentioned in a couple of previous videos, we are going to have to notch out the frame on here to make room for that drop kit. Why? Because when we flip the axle from the bottom to the top of the springs, we're not going to have a whole lot of room here for suspension travel. And that's where this piece comes into play. The C-notch, which is what they call this, is raised up a couple of inches so that I'll be able to C-notch the frame, slide this on top of the frame, drill out my holes, bolt into place, and give it some really, really good structural integrity because of the quality of metal that this is. Once it's on there, that axle will then be allowed to travel up and down a little bit more without bottoming out. And that's where the bump stops come into play. Now the only other thing that we're gonna need for the rear out of this whole kit is shocks. And I opted to go with the Nitro Drop 2, and of course this is front and rear, so we've got two for the back as well as two for the front. As we make our way up front, we've got some new coil springs. Now, as I showed you in a previous video, the coil springs that are on this truck, we don't know what they are, but we do know for a fact that these are gonna help us accomplish a four inch drop in the front. Now, I also told you in a previous video, with all the parts that I had, I was able to find these new upper control arms for about $40 American each. So there's your left and your right, and they come with the new ball joint, they come with the bracket for your brake hose as well, as a new bump stop. And you look on here, all the bushings on the end are 100% new. And last, but certainly not least, the PS de resistance on this front suspension drop. Now one thing I will say is that this came very well boxed. It had this box covering this box, which on the inside was pre-packaged with some of this wood veneer to help keep it in place. Once again, we've got the instructions, a couple of Belltec stickers, and some new cotter pins for your ball joints and tie rods. And buried in 
amongst all this packaging and styrofoam are two very heavy and greased up drop spindles. Now, this is the passenger side and a lot of people are going to ask, well, how do they obtain a drop with just a spindle? Well, normally, this piece here, this actual spindle part where, you're at, where your wheel bearing sets in with your brakes, is down here. So by moving it up, it's gaining a couple of inches, pushing that wheel and tire package all up into the fender. So we've got two of these, one for each side, and of course everything is all greased up so it doesn't rust. We're going to clean this up. We'll shoot it with a fresh coat of black so that everything underneath looks 100%. So as I mentioned in previous videos that this whole kit didn't cost me net a whole lot. So the whole kit, shocks and everything, was $945 Canadian. So this is the Canadian price, this is the American price, just so you guys can follow along. So if we take away the $485 in YouTube ad revenue that I had saved up, we are now down to $460 Canadian. On top of that, with my credit card, I had some bonus points I was able to get back, totaling $365, which leaves me with an out-of-pocket price of just $95. How can you beat that? In my opinion, all this YouTube hard work over the last couple of years ultimately has paid off for this very moment. Now, honey, if you're watching this, it's only a hundred bucks. I spent more than that on you for Christmas, sweetie. So now that we've got all that out of the way, I'm gonna have a link down below for this kit and where I bought it, as well as the part numbers associated with the kit. So right now, I'm going to go prepare for the Car Guy and Six Fan Christmas special, which actually happened last Thursday. And you guys, I hope, had a great time because Grant and I worked a little extra hard to make this one super special. Thanks to all who helped out. Congratulations to all the winners of the prizes. Guys, we hope you have a very Merry Christmas and remember the true reason for the season. As always, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. Guys, I love you so much. Thanks for everything. We will see you in the next video.